Hi, in this slide I want to go through uh, one of the key subsystems of, of what, what I consider my high performance personnel practice uh, set. There, there are six elements that, that go into this, but one of them is as far as uh, mastery and growth expectations I have for all employees, uh, that on a monthly basis there's going to be a progress report bottom up on how people are growing. I want to get rid of top-down annual uh, performance appraisal things because they're painful and they basically, lots of research shows they don't work and my personal experience is they don't work. Um, so rather, I would have bottom up uh, each employee kind of uh, uh, building their case as to why they're doing a great job or not a great job in their own handwriting. So I've got some key assumptions first. Uh, key assumption number one is um, our service value generation capability is the, the sum of the parts. You know, every person is like a part in a machine, and we want to make sure we have high-quality parts that are working together not only in a, in a good service process way, but an overall kinetic chain uh, focused and aligned way. If everyone's going to be a quality part, I'd like everybody to be in the top 10% or better for our industry. Now that maybe actually is not a very high standard, seeing as how 90, 95% of the of distributors out there have not given much thought to what a black belt first, second, third degree person is for a given job niche that they have in their business. Um, another key assumption is that everyone has to learn how to learn. So that's what all these little video clips are about. And they have to learn about what the path of mastery is and they've got to be you know, willing to, to fail forward to, to, to move to higher levels of competency. Another key assumption is if the employee does not love themselves enough to want to invest their time, their energy, I call it sweat equity, into themselves to be a better person, uh, either on or on the job, either job related or not, uh, then why would the company want to invest in them? <laughs> if they, if they, if the student, the student isn't ready. The teacher can't have any effect. Um, so what I want to do in this monthly uh, mastery thing is for everybody to pick up something that they want to get better at, continuous improvement. It doesn't have to be job related. It could be uh, hitting a higher level in piano, as far as playing piano. One guy wanted to become a commercial uh, breeder of discus fish. I don't know what they are, but anyway, that's what they wanted to do. Um, and uh, but the key is is that they're 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 showing that they they want to you know learn read learn educate try fail forward new stuff. Um, now, if the person has to invest time and energy, but they need some tuition. They need to take some courses or whatever. The company will co-invest. They put the sweat equity in. The company will put the money in. Uh, generally speaking, the sums are not a lot. And my general experience is that if I spent two hundred bucks on a on a course at a junior college or five hundred dollars on something else, I'm apt to get about five to ten times my return on investment back on that. And I'll tell you a story in a in a in a future slide on, that involved public speaking. Um, so at any rate, the form's pretty easy. It's just one page. The top says, here's what I want to do and how I'm going to measure myself and get better and, and kind of what my timetable is. And the bottom half says, here's how I progressed in the past month. This this form is due the first day of every business, the first day of every, every, every month, business day of every month. And, you know, when they turn it in to their supervisor, that triggers, let's set a, a date to visit for five to 15 minutes, just about how it's going. And basically the manager just says, tell me what's going on and how can I or the company help you continue to stay on your path, uh, your commitment to growth and learning and, and, uh, and, and mastery. Um, and then uh, the manager just takes some notes uh, and, and puts it in a file. Now, what will happen after about three to six months out You'll find that if you have 10 employees, let's say one of them, we'll call him Tony the Tiger, is just got exhibits and they're on a tear and they're doing all kinds of stuff. And then at the other extreme, there's a guy who's Charlie Coaster and Charlie Coaster doesn't get it in on time. He changes his goal each month. He really hasn't done much. He can't say he's done anything. Uh, so that, that triggers what I call the PRICE uh, intervention program, which is part of my, it's a, a, another one of my six uh, parts of the of the human resource uh, management cycle, if you will. 
And what's going on now is Charlie is turning these things in with his own signature on them and basically documenting his way up if he's Tony the Tiger or out if he's Charlie the Coaster and can't get his act turned around and, and get back on a, on a mastery path. Thank you.